Hey guys, it's Web here, and today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 8 build 7850 inside of VMware. Now, I've tested this ISO inside of VMware Workstation 15.5. It should be able to work on VMware Workstation Player, but I have not tested it on VirtualBox just yet. Windows 8 build 7850 was an earlier build of Windows 8, which still featured the Arrow taskbar and Arrow window borders. However, it did feature some of the newer features that we did see inside of Windows 8, as well as some scrapped features, which are really interesting. Now, setting up the virtual machine will be different on every virtual machine client. However, for Workstation 15.5 Pro, all we have to do is click this big Create a New Virtual Machine button. From here, we can just go through the typical setup. We can select our ISO, which we can go into wherever we download it from. And the link to download this will be in the description. It will be either from Mega or Google Drive. I'm not sure which I'm uploading it to. Make sure that the ISO title is 6.1.7850 win main blah blah blah. This is the one that we want. And now if you're using smart install, it will automatically detect that it cannot find out what operating system this disk image contains. So we're just going to cl click next and really under Microsoft Windows, we can really pick anything Windows 8, Windows 7, or Windows Server 2012. For me, I'm going to go with Windows 7 because I plan on trying to get the virtual machine tools to be installed. Now, of course, you can name this whatever you want and save it wherever you want, but for right now, I'm just going to call this Windows 8. Now, you can set whatever size hard drive you want, but for me, since I'm not planning on using this, I'll just set 30. Um, really, you only need 20 or 25. Now I recommend setting this to at least 2 gigabytes of RAM and I'll just up the processor core just to make sure we have exceptional performance. And now we can click finish. Now our new virtual machine will automatically pop up. We can make sure that all of our specifications are here. And now we can do one more thing. Now just to make sure for right now we're just going to disconnect the network adapter just to be safe so the time doesn't automatically switch on us which I don't think is a problem in this build. So powering on the virtual machine, we will see a Windows 7-like loading bar and a Windows 7-like startup screen. And now this is where things might get a little bit confusing. As you can see, everything looks identical to a Windows 7 setup. Don't be fooled, this is Windows 8. So if we just continue through the setup, as we can see here, like I said, it looks identical to Windows 7, but this is really Windows 8. They didn't change the setup until later builds. I think this was in the 8,000 builds when they started to change the setup and installation. So we're just going to agree to the Windows 7 Enterprise terms, install a custom version on our new hard drive that we just created, and then hit install. Now those of you who are wondering why I'm doing this video, you may remember that a few years ago I did do a video on Windows 8 build 8056, I believe that's the correct build. And many people in the comments were reporting that they were getting a black screen of death upon boot up. And of course that's not good. So I downloaded the ISO I provided and tried to boot it up. And I got a black screen of death for whatever reason. I'm not sure why that happened. So I tried to download another 8056 version. I tried a whole bunch of different 80 versions. None of them worked. This is the only version I could get to work. So if you're coming from that video because I linked this video in that one. This isn't the 80 version, like I said, this is a newer version, and it may not have all the features in the 8056 build, but this is definitely a noteworthy build, and it's really cool to just take a look at older Windows 8 builds and see how we evolved. Now one thing to note is that you might need to set your BIOS date to a date that's in the description. Um, it, I didn't need to set it as that, but if you are experiencing errors, that's the first thing I would do. I would go set my BIOS date to the date in the description. I'll make sure to leave the date and the um, and the ISO download in the description if you would like to go check that out and download it and try this for yourself. There is no product key because there's no activation in the setup and overall I don't think you'd be using this as a daily driver anyway. It's definitely unstable and I would not recommend it. Now of course this will go through the basic Windows 7 loading stuff like checking the video performance. There is no beta fish for some reason. I know this is very sad because this is simply an earlier build. Now again, don't be confused. This says Windows 7 Enterprise. This is not Windows 7. This is Windows 8. So we're just going to go and type in Win, Win 8 and then click enter. From here we can type a username, so we'll just go with something simple. And we're going to decide to ask us later. Now of course we can select our correct time zone, so let's just pick something random like that. And again, it still reports itself as Windows 7 Enterprise. But, as you can see here, this is actually Windows 8. 
So the first thing that I highly recommend doing is going to install VMware tools. This is something that I recommend everyone do as soon as they set up a new virtual machine simply because it enables Aero and we can get a full edge-to-edge -edge display using VMware tools. And now for some reason I can't install VMware tools, I keep getting this error right here, so I'll click install, and autoplay will show up, and it says that I need SP1 or newer, however we not, we, we're we not going to be able to get arrow on this machine, but I should be able to adjust my resolution to make it easier for you guys to take a look at. Alright, so here we are, this is Windows 8, now albeit this is a very early build, and let's just take a look around the operating system. So a lot of the pre-installed apps are of course Windows 8. A lot of the pre-installed apps are of course Windows 7 apps. They didn't really put a lot of thought or design into this. They were just trying to get a feel for the actual operating system. But the newest feature that you'll be obviously able to tell is right down here. This little thing right here. This is kind of like the beginning of the start screen. So we have my settings, my look, which is just your current look or your profile picture. You can switch user, log off, or lock the PC, which just brings you to a standard Windows 7. Now I believe that there is a way to enable the full screen start menu somewhere, I'm not really sure where. I think you're gonna need something called a red pill that will change this up and it will unlock locked features. If anyone really wants to get into that and if you know how to, you can leave a tutorial in the comments, I'll probably pin it, and so other people can really experience all these locked things. And so this actually identifies itself a lot like Windows 7. In fact, I don't think there's any Windows 8 branding anywhere. Um, but I promise you that this is a very early build of Windows 8. Um, because Windows 8 built itself off of Windows 7. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really have today. I just wanted to show off how to get this to be installed, how you can get it to work, that kind of stuff. So. Now that we got it working, you can all have fun, go take a look around it, see what you can get working, see what you can't get working. It's a pretty straightforward installation, but I highly recommend taking a look at this. It's really interesting. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos. So yeah, like I said, I'll see you all in the next one.